World safaris have been sending surfers in locations around the world since 1997 and have satisfied customers countless times. As a satisfied customer like myself, I thought I'd make this little video of the experience I had staying at the Aganoa Beach Retreat in Samoa. To get to an Aganoa Beach Retreat, you have to take the ferry from Apollo Island to Savai, which will only take an hour. You get picked up by one of the workers from the retreat and it's only a 20 minute drive from the ferry. I couldn't believe my eyes that the hut I got to sleep in was right on the beach. So I'm at the Agona Beach Retreat and well, so far so good. I'm at my room and this is the view that I get to wake up to every morning. Here's my little hut, perfect for someone like me that's travelling by myself, but there are rooms for families to stay in as well, and they're just as good. Double beds and very roomy with a window facing the ocean. I also had the pleasure to meet Keith Martin, who is the owner of the Beach Retreat. Been here for 10 years now set up along an old beach. 20 years all together on Savai, but before that just doing tours. And then got the lease on the land here after five years of negotiations and headaches. Now we've got our own retreat, our own resort. There's a lot of other things as well as surfing that goes along obviously with having a good holiday. But the main thing is why we, or why I started surfing here in Samoa, in Savai, is for people to enjoy that feeling of having uncrowded waves that you often don't get anymore. We're still lucky we have that and we'll never lose it. Well, at least here we won't because we have a maximum of 15 surfers. For what I have learned from Keith to experience an awesome wave, you have to surf an uncrowded wave. That is why he has built this retreat right next to a spectacular right-hander. so long I had been wanting to surf my own perfect wave with no crowds. This spot came pretty close to achieving my goal. I actually felt like a true soul surfer at this spot. No turns, just make the drop and let the wave do its thing. Some days, depending on the swell, this wave can be pretty gnarly. Heavy hollow lip breaking over a shallow reef. But quite surprisingly, this break can be good for kids too. Only a 15 to 20 minute drive away, there are more reef breaks such as the left hander called Salai Lua Village. And a left and right hand break called Middles. In my personal opinion, these waves are good for the intermediate and the advanced levels of surfing. Very user friendly. There are more breaks around the island but only works on different set of tides, wind and swell direction. But Keith has known this island for 20 years now. So like a surf guru, all he has to do is look outside and he can tell which are the best spots to surf and organise a road trip for you. I'm a very keen surfer, but I am also an adventure junkie, so there is plenty of things to do on the island.
these guys are going to teach me how to sing hallelujah at the church today. <laughs> Samoa is very religious, with most of the population following one of the Christian values. This means that Sunday is generally respected as a holy day, and most shops and businesses are closed. I would really like to show more about my trip, but I would like to end with something very important regarding to Keith's retreat. Where does the funding go when surfers come here? The Savoy Education Fund Major was set up pretty much 20 years ago when we first started our business here. And it's been 10 taler a day, roughly five Australian dollars per person per day. It goes into a trust fund that we use for helping out the primary schools on the different villages where we surf only, only where we surf, and will, can be used for you know, library books or we've painted classrooms, we've built fences around the sports fields to keep the pigs out, sent, sent um, teams to American Samoa rugby teams with fine mats, which is the traditional way in Samoa you, you're helping you know, pay back the families that look after you when you're there, rather than exchange money. And uh, it's been fantastic. And um, I just want to thank all the surfers that have done that over the years. A lot of them probably don't realise that they have. It's e have even been included in their package. And World Safaris as well have been a great help since we've taken them on the last few years. So um, last night here in Aganoa Beach Retreat, it's been great. The I'll never get to experience such a cool room like this. It's right on the beach, and the waves are crashing at the window. And um, I just I'm definitely going to miss the fact too. I get to walk out the door, go out surfing, and when I'm done, I catch a wave in, and there I am at my front door. You'll never get that again. You'll never get that anywhere else. So uh, this retreat is really cool. And you know, Keith and he, all of his workers, they look after you. Um, great food, happy smiles everywhere. And uh, whenever you need help with anything, they're always there. Whenever you want to go somewhere, they will take you. I feel so connected to this place and I don't want to go back home. I want to stay here for another week or even two weeks. So I just, next time I just want to come back here for a month. But, but this World Safaris package, it was beautiful. I loved every day. It's just been such an awesome adventure. I got to see great waves and the beautiful culture here in Samoa. Um, it's been a real adventure. Thank you World Safaris for everything. Definitely go for this package. It is awesome. I just never had such a fun time and I'm pretty sure I'm going to do this package again. It's great. It's recommended. Uh, thank you guys again. And yeah, so off to bed. Alright, bye.